in Atlanta. Yeah, she'll be home this afternoon. Down there in some of the drug. Salute. How'd it go yesterday, all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that thing, you know, that damn press. Sometimes it gets annoying living in the fishbowl. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 President? How are you? Hello, Mr. President. Hello, how do you do, sir? Grand to see you. We drafted Paul here. Oh, well, he's on our judiciary committee. Well, I'm pleased to sign this bill today that marks another milestone, I think, in the streamlining of our federal court system, the Federal Courts Improvement Act of 1982. Senator Strom Thurmond, who couldn't be with us today because of a previous commitment, and Senators Dole and Heflin, and of course, Congressman Pete Rodino and McClory, provided the excellent leadership that was required to pass this bill. These reforms are the result of bipartisan cooperation in the Congress and the hard work of dedicated people in all three branches of government. And I, on behalf of all of our citizens, thank them for their efforts. This bill will consolidate the Court of Claims and the Court of Customs and Patent Appeals to form the United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. Technological research and development by ensuring the uniform application of the patent laws. Other changes will improve the overall management of the federal courts. I hope that this bill and this bipartisan effort will pave the way toward more reforms in the system by which America dispenses justice under law. There are several significant pieces of legislation now pending before the Congress, such as the criminal code reform, bail reform, habeas corpus reform that will require similar bipartisan cooperation. I understand the Senate soon will take up the criminal code reform, and I look forward to working with Chairman Rodino and members of the House to ensure similarly prompt action on that bill. I've long said the government's first duty is to protect the people. In recent years, despite a rapidly growing federal government, crime rates around the country have been soaring. So if we who lead the nation continue to work together, we can restore safety of American neighborhoods and fulfill our first duty as representatives of the American people. And now I'm going to sign this. Well, it was just a minor bill, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. The government had had its way back there someplace in the 1870s when they wanted to eliminate the patenting process because they said everything that would, could be invented had been invented. <laughs> That's right. Judge <laughs> Cowan, Mr. President. Good to see you. Judge Oshawa. Judge Rich. Judge Davis. Judge Davis. Mr. President, Mr. President. This young lady is representing Senator Heflin. He couldn't make it. Oh, <laughs> well. Nice to see you and have you here. Frank Sauer, Mr. President. President William Bonner, Commissioner of Customs. See you. Carl Sturm Flair. President Pete Valdi. Mr. President, 
I'll come through the line again. <laughs> well, thank you all for being here. Now I'll do what the little girl in the letter said last year. Get back to the Oval Office and go to work. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We'll, uh, thank you. we'll go ahead and let you know something immediately after. We expect the news. Oh, no, I know you told me that. No, I appreciate I told it. you that. You I, know. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's a lot of jobs. <laughs> I don't know how many of those guys are large. They believe in ringing well, the you know, <laughs> 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 That's the very beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Something in Carson that, City. Frankly, we felt we missed as we were coming in. What are the offers? Unfortunately, other things got in the way, and we recognized. Yeah, you know, I do feel about that. Fortunately, but uh, I talked to the uh, deputy attorney general, and I said, "Be prepared. You, prepare. We got something for you." Okay, good. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Our American chairman, Congressman Bob McEwen. Yes, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Remember your young man I here, Don Hahn? Don don't pump my hand too much. I've got a first sinus <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Chairman Larry. Great to see you. Hello. Commissioner Bedar. Hello. Nice to see you. And may I present <coughs> uh, our secretary, David LaRoche, <coughs> Mr. President, yeah. who will troop the line with you here in <coughs> alphabetical order. And, uh, Chuck, I told him about the Will Rogers and the Matthew Gillen. Yeah, I was going to say, 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 I was going I know we're going to take a group picture in just a moment, but I know and I've also been told that you've had a very successful commission meeting. And uh, I think you all know the importance that I place and our administration places on our relations with Canada, but you are the ones who do the nuts and bolts work to provide a foundation for that good relationship. And I just want to express my thanks to all of you for what you're doing so successfully. And uh, now I guess we better take the picture. We'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> Vice President echoes your remarks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not Oh, it's a one big group picture, huh? Yeah, I guess we're supposed to see it right over here. Everyone say Great Lakes. <laughs> great Lakes. Great Lakes. Yeah, don't think toxic. <laughs> 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 
I date myself because I remember my concert with the Church of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. 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 The days when they used to get this kind of a shot with the camera here. Yeah. Yeah. You know the steel camera? That was the line. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of days in the past, does the name Pete Berryman from Tampa mean anything to you? He was an old friend of yours that you uh, were very good to. Uh, I was wondering, it was uh, some years ago. I mean, yes. It was uh, many years ago. As a matter of fact, I understand it was when you were in the first primary uh, campaign trail, uh, when you were still governor of uh, California. You visited Tampa. Yes, yes. And actually, I, I, it's always been portrayed that I was a candidate, and uh, I wasn't. <laughs> there were some people that had told me that as long as I was going to be nominated as a favorite son, they were going to consider that I was a legitimate candidate. <laughs> Very good. And, uh, I had to say to them, well, you know, I will not lift a finger to, uh, to help uh, in that regard. I didn't think that having come from uh, 25 years of uh, disappearing into the distance with the end superimposed on my back. <laughs> <laughs> After one year as governor, I should be <laughs> suggesting I wanted to be president. So, uh, it uh, turned out all right. But it did come about. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President.